Hey guys, this is Brian with Nagios Enterprises, and today we're covering the initial configuration of our freshly installed Nagios Fusion 4. So you can see on the screen here that we still have one initial set of tasks remaining, configure your few servers, and we'll get to that. But before we do, we're going to actually add a few users so that I can show you one of the new exciting features of Fusion 4. So we're going to go to our admin menu item, and then under the users section, there's a manage users link. Click on that. And then you can see our list of users here, and we're going to add a new user. We'll just add a few. User 1. All these settings look fine to me. The preferences give you the option of changing the user's language, date format, time zone, number format. Now the user does have the option to override these. These are just the initial settings. So we're going to click Add User. Nope, actually, let's uncheck that force password change at next login. OK, the user was added successfully, and we can see in the list. So now we're going to add another user. We'll call this one User2. All right, perfect. So now we have uh, a few users left here, but for just the sake of going over everything, let's add one more. Okay, so there's a few options on the screen. One, obviously, is the checkbox over here. So we can check all, and then with selected, we could either delete all, enable the account, disable the account. We don't really want to do any of those things. So let's just say we have user 3 here, who we no longer want to be a user of our Nagios Fusion. So we can either go over here, change their credentials, if we so desired. That's really not what I want to do. I want to delete their account. Uh, before I do that, you should know that you have the option to masquerade as that user so that you can see what they see. And you also have the option to disable the accounts that are currently enabled. But for the sake of this video, we're just going to click delete. Are you sure you want to delete this user? Yes. And that user was successfully deleted. So you can see that he's out of the list. And the only remaining users are Nagios admin, user 1, and user 2. Perfect. That sets us up for our next video. As always, if you had any issues, head over to the support forum, support.nagios.com forum, or check out the related content on the YouTube channel. Thanks, guys.